think, known for his takedown abilities. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think he, he could shoot in. And he wants top. Yeah, get that single, kind of work himself towards a single leg. Leandro kind of gaming a little bit. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot. Right, there's, there's that lunging shot that we were talking about yeah. earlier where he's really just looking to grab something off yeah. that shot and pull half. I, I actually think he's going to try to grab the leg and then, and then come up. Now, here we go. Low sits. I think that might have been a mistake a little bit for Leandro because Bernardo has demonstrated an ability to kind of completely shut down his guard. Yes. But we'll see here. You saw the same problem that uh, he was dealing with with Airberth is that both sleeves were controlled, kind of preventing him from getting that over under position. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be the story right here. He needs to prevent that because Bernardo is going to be looking to drive forward and then stuff one leg. And Leandro's guard really excels when people are standing or kneeling inside the guard. He, does, he doesn't really excel from this spot. He's, no. he's very hard to pass. Yep. It's coming already. Like, Bernardo's already starting to try to set up that cross lapel grip. Here very he like, nice. nice. He's able to get in his, his good sweeping sequence. This is definitely in favor of Absolutely. Leandro. Post and come up. There he did. And there's the two. They're going to get a reset back in the middle. That's actually very, very important because he wasn't able to sweep, if memory recalls, from the Pan Ams. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. I think Bernardo played much lower style of passing than that time. Lowe was able to get right underneath him, and classic. He can sweep everybody from that position. Now, Lowe isn't as good passing from this side. It's not his favorite side. He likes that other side, the uh, uh, knee slice, much better than this yeah. side. Bernardo slowly getting the lapel here. He's on that single. Here he goes. There he puts slow down. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if he can sweep, what position can he sweep to? And this is it right here, where he needs to stay away, because this is Bernardo's position now. Watch Bernardo's right arm. It needs to go over the top of the knee, clear the knee line, and get solidify that over under. Lowe is doing a very good job of, of uh, pushing away. That, watch that arm, the yeah. action's on that arm, because if he's able to circumvent it, it's going to be a guard pass. Yeah, and low nose, and he's just trying to get out of there. <laughs> now he's got the grip on the inside. There's a better grip for Bernardo. Beatrice Mesquita. Beatrice can go Mesquita. to the right Beatrice or to the left with that inside pant grip. You see how his arm is? Well, we can see it, but that's the grip I think that very beneficial grip on this over under pass is on the inside of the pant leg because it gives you the opportunity to go left, right, either way. Now he's back on the outside. Tries a throw by, beautiful combination. I think he's a little bit more comfortable defending throw bys than the smashing. But here he's got a great position. He's hugging the legs. He's going to be able to, to, to try and come around. He, the low tries to stand up for a moment <laughs> and is able to recover. I think that plays into his strengths of guard recovery a little bit more yeah. so than, than the grinding, crushing style that you're yeah. seeing displayed here. Yeah, this is a lot of pressure here. You can see how he's hipping in and keeping all of his weight forward. Yep. Low. He's going to maybe pass to that far side. He tries. He hooks it. It looks like he's going to be able to settle in. He'd need to try an invert or something to recover. It's not going to happen, though. No, that's too much pressure. He is in there. Bernardo has got a good cross face. And he's able tight. to pass three points. Bernardo Faria. He's anxious to get that belt tied, that's for sure. Yeah. There's very few competitors that fight with as much uh, passion and emotion as Bernardo. That is a testament to the pressure that Bernardo puts, because how often do we see this right here? And he's, he's did it in pans and worlds. He's able to pass. Andrew's guard with that pressure, low pass, over under pass. Might be getting those knees in for recovery, almost. Almost. Bernardo shuts it down very wisely with his right hand, kind of blocking with his bicep the knees from coming up. 
Watch the mount here. Leander's gonna need to turn hard into, yep, and then start to try to escape. He's gotta watch the Kamora, he gotta watch the mount. He might be able to stuff half guard on this uh, near side if, it, if Bernardo steps over, chooses not to, goes north-south. Arm lock is a coming here. Kamora is coming. He's sitting for that arm lock. Bernardo threads that. And he's yeah. going to be able to get it, it looks like. He's yep. trying to spin doing the hitchhiker escape. He's almost there. He's turning and oh. taps. Bernardo Faria advances to the final of the Open Weight World Championship.